Hi, my name's Otto and I'm part of the 40th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm going to be giving you five easy tips to elevate your bar charts in Tableau. So first up we have this simple bar chart and here what we're going to do is overlay a Gantt chart to make these ends of the lines really stand out. So the first thing to do is to pull out another sales pill onto the column shelf, uh, removing that label and then we want to synchronize our axes and remove our headers. So in our marks card we're going to want to change that to a Gantt and in our color making it a darker color and removing any opacity. And here we can see the ends of the lines now really stand out. So tip two is when you have a couple more um, categories. So here what might it might be nice to do is compare them to the average. So you can see in our analytics pane we can pull out an average line and put that onto table and then what it might be nice to do there is to see whether things are above or below the line. So I've got a calculation that does that. Put that onto colour and change it to discrete. So now you can see we're comparing which of our products were above the average and which were below. So tip four is for when you have the current year, you might want to compare it to a previous year. So here we're going to instead now take a reference line and put that onto cell view. So changing our value from current year to previous year because we want our Gantt lines to be the previous year and our bars to be the current year. And then we can put our current year versus previous year onto the colour which will show us whether we've improved or got worse since the last year. Now tip four is for when you have um, a very long list of um, categories. So here we've got customers. You might want to add a rank to this. So here what I'm doing is putting a reference of minus a thousand. So we're going before that axis line, uh, making a dual axis, synchronizing the axis. And then if we change our marks card from a bar to a circle, we can put our rank in the middle of that circle, so pulling out rank from the data pane. Putting that onto labels, we can s pull off our sales and centre the rank. And here it might be nice to highlight the top 10 products. So I've got a calculation which is our top 10 customers by sales. Pulling that onto colour. And here you can see we've highlighted the top 10 customers. So lastly, this is a tip if you're working with percentages. You might want to show a reference line for where 100% is behind. So if we add 1 onto our column shelf, uh, that will be representative of 100%. Uh, swapping that round so it goes behind our percentages, making a dual axis. We can synchronize that axis and remove the headers. Also we want to fix this axis from 0 to 1 because we only want to go up to 100%. And then just cleaning up if we remove the colours, remove the extra label, make this colour very faint. So we only lightly want to see where 100% would go. And then here it might be nice maybe to visualize the south as it's our weakest performing region. So here I'm just pulling out south into color and you can see we've highlighted the south regions as the worst percentage. Thanks for watching this video. 
Hope you now feel more confident about how to use bar charts. Subscribe to get notified when we release new videos.